even if I have like over 300 subscribers now, it's still unbelievable that you still decide to watch my video. Hi, my name is Petra and exactly a year ago I uploaded my first YouTube video. So in today's video I would like to talk about this little journey of mine and share my thoughts and experiences with you, what I learned in the past year, what you can expect in the future and I would also like to talk about my new coffee page. While I'm talking I'm going to bake a little cake for myself and for you guys just to not make this just a talk and sit video and I hope you will enjoy it. So let's jump right into it. Oh, and also, if you have any related question to this topic, please let me know in the comment section down below. I will read them and answer them the best as I can. Okay. So, as I said, I started my YouTube channel exactly 52 weeks ago, which means I made 52 videos, like one each week, and that's insane to me. My first subscriber was my boyfriend, and I had to wait exactly one month till I got my second subscriber which is unbelievable to me like imagine a channel that has one subscriber and has like five or six videos and that person decides to subscribe to my channel even though all these things like it's still insane if a person has like five or six subscribers and people still think that yeah I'm going to subscribe and I'm going to support this channel like those people are the best kind of people and if you're one of them I'm so thankful and even if I have like over 300 subscriber now it's still unbelievable that you still decide to watch my video among so many perfect beautiful expert content creators I'm so thankful for it so over a year I gained 320 subscribers and I learned that patience is really key so if you're struggling with subscriber numbers or views or whatever just really be patient do what you love to do and eventually people will come and see your channel and decide to follow you in this journey if you do what you love that time won't even be that long actually like in my case it was like this so this whole journey can be long and just waiting every day can be devastating it's totally normal to grow slowly and I think it's better because in this pace you can get used to having more and more views having more and more subscribers I wouldn't love to go viral because that quick change would be hard to process for me at least so I totally can understand why some people want to be viral within a few weeks or a few months but it's not meant for everybody so you just have to be patient and everything will come eventually so we have the flour mix and I separated the yolks from the egg whites and now we're going to beat up the egg white oh yeah look at this that's amazing another thing is that at the beginning you don't actually know like 100% what your channel is going to look like later it's okay to experiment just like I did I'm interested in so many things that I couldn't actually decide what I want to do in my channel so I tried out like every format I could think of like I made so many type of videos before and there was some that I liked and some that I don't so I narrowed my topics and here I am today like my channel back then has nothing to do with my channel right now it's so important to narrow down your topics with time because your subscribers will come back to your videos because they want a certain type of videos like they won't like all of them I think I have three main topics like I make vlogs but it's around the topic of Budapest and Hungary I talk about Hungary in general or about Budapest and I also travel around Hungary but this actually comes in a circle at the end because it's 
all about Hungary and about Budapest. So I still have a bigger variety but the main topic stays the same and from time to time I'm sure I'm going to make videos that has like nothing to do with these type of videos so I may be going to make like self-development vlog which I really like so yeah that's one important lesson I had to learn and just experiment in the beginning and later on you will figure out what you want with your channel and that's really important to have people that will come back because they want to see a certain type of video and they expect you to make those type of videos as well. So this is where I am right now. Here are the egg white and egg yolk. And here is the flour mix and now we're going to pour the flour mix into the egg yolk and that's about it. We preheated the oven to 170 degrees and that's it. I'm still waiting so until that, I would like to talk about what I'm grateful for since I started my YouTube channel. First of all, I'm grateful for what I've learned along the way. Before that, I had no idea how to edit the videos and until February, I think, or March, I edited my videos on my phone. And after that, I bought a new laptop and I took this thing more seriously, even though I don't have any special effects like fire here and there and glowy and bubbly text or something like that but still I've learned so many things and I learn with every video and yeah as I said I want to keep things simple but still trust me you can learn so many things and you can actually benefit from it in other areas of life. I'm also grateful for the amazing things I did since I started my channel. Thanks to this, I traveled more. I became more open about my surroundings, about the city Budapest itself. And I have so many great memories that are now have their own place on the internet. And most importantly, thanks to all of you guys who followed along, who watched one of my video, who are watching this particular video. I'm so grateful for you because the main reason I'm doing this, of course, I really enjoy it, but if you see it and you enjoy it as well, that's like the greatest thing in the whole entire universe. So, so happy and so, so lucky that I started this and I had the courage to start making videos. That's, I'm, I'm so happy for it. And, and I, I hope that you feel this through this camera because I'm truly grateful for you. I hope that you will like what I do in the future as well. And we will see each other a year later as well. I count on you. See you there. Now I'm going to grease the pan. And we're going to pour the paste into it. And here's how the dough looks like. Here it comes. I've never made anything like that before. The recipe is super simple. So that's why I like it. We're going to wiggle it. Something like that. I don't actually have foil for it, so I'm going to use just some parchment paper and I'm going to put it into the oven like that. I will try and keep you satisfied and pleased with my content and if you would like to support me I would like to announce that I opened my coffee page where you can support me with the price of a coffee. The reason behind it is that until this time I visited places that are free or where I have to pay a minimal price because that's actually what I can afford from my wage which I will keep doing because I think that's really important to know where you can go for free or for really a minimal uh, financial support. But in the meantime, I would like to explore more and visit places that I couldn't visit before. And for that, 
I would really appreciate your help. There's nothing wrong with that if you don't want to support me or tip me this amount of money. It's totally fine. A like or a subscribe button push is totally fine and I couldn't be more grateful for you. But I know there are some people out there who would like to or who can afford to support me even more and for those people there's this chance to support a little. I say support so many times but I couldn't figure out another word for that so sorry. So I will leave the link to it in the description down below so check it out and thank you. Back to the main topic, there's also one thing I achieved thanks to YouTube is that I'm more confident in front of the camera and I think my speech in English definitely got better. In the beginning I made so many terrible mistakes that were painful to watch back when I edited the videos and right now I make so many mistakes still but they are still better than they were before so I'm totally okay with them and I think my vocabulary in English is far from best but I think I still improve with every video and I'm still more fluent than I was before so I'm really happy with these results and I try my best and keep improving and I think I made this sentence without a pause so that's amazing all in all i look forward to improve more in the future slowly but surely the cake is getting ready so to make a summary this year was incredible to me and i can't wait to see what the future brings and i'm so grateful for all of you yeah i think that's that's the main sentence I wanted to share with you. Look at this. It looks like actually like bread or something, but it's nice. Okay, so this is how the cake looks like so far. I think I'm going to cut the top of it so I can make it even. And after that, we're going to make the whipped cream topping to this. And yeah, it's basically ready. Okay, so the cake is ready. It's really far from perfect and it started to melt so it has a lot of problems but I hope you don't mind it. This cake is actually for you, for those who watched at least one of my videos and supported me in that way in the past year. You guys are amazing so let's wish together, shall we? That was all I wanted to say and see you in the next one. Bye!